Federal Executive Council meeting for 2020 they hold today. President Buhari don't write to give Senate to recognize management committee of NDDC. And the Senate don't swear say them go do everything the way they possible to make sure say they introduce better community policing. Plateau State Governor don't give orders to make them arrest Fulani leaders sake of the killings we just happened. Good afternoon and welcome to Wazubia Max TV. This is now as it take happen. My name is Adati Onwongwe. On top of the first story for this afternoon, the first Federal Executive Council meeting for the new year 2020 they hold today for Presidential Villa inside Abuja and now President Mohamed Dubari Naim go lead for inside the meeting. The last meeting where we say they've been due for December 18th, 2019, the council been approved the Ministry of Petroleum Plus, including the Ministry of Transportation and the Ministry of Finance. As Endo achieved January to December budget cycle now, many country people now they hope say the federal cabinet could take better decisions now to address matter of security where they increase for inside the country. Plus plenty other things now where they for the country, even as matter of health, as a concern Lassa fever where they the country, plus including the new coronavirus. As the matter still be, our Tory person Philip Mweli day for presidential villa. And he go join us now, make it for tell us some of the things where BC they don't yarn about for inside the meeting. Well, Adag, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Well, Adag, um, the, um, the meeting don't start since 11 o'clock, just like your talk. And uh, with presidents, President Mohammed Buhari, now they preside over the meeting. Um, you go recall saying on the 18th of December, 2019 now they hold the last meeting for last year and that's one we say if you count from that day to now you're gonna say now six weeks after that meeting now in this meeting they hold so today's meeting when they hold on the 29th day of january 2019 now the very first one when the federal executive council they hold so today we won't believe say they will discuss the issue of insecurity they will discuss how to you know, move our economy forward. They go also discuss the issue of health. You know, this Lassa fever and the coronavirus when they happen for China and other parts of the world. I believe saying are some of the things when they go talk. You know, um, when the meeting they hold, they're not they let journalists know what thing that they talk about. Now after they don't hold the meeting, then go come tell us the decisions when they take and the issues when they decide. So as I they talk to you now, the meeting they go on for behind me there for the ASU chambers and our president, they coordinate that meeting. Okay. Anytime we say they finish the meeting, make you still help us gather to you to come back to studio. I will do that. Okay. Much. Thank we'll you do that. very much. And Shapali make we enter inside the next story. As matters TB, they don't tell the government agencies to see auditing now as a will be see then go take improve their work instead of to the CM as threat. On top of this matter, President Muhammad Buhari bin Jinja them on Tuesday for Inside Abuja, as if they launched the three-day conference of Auditors General of the Federation. Still on top of the matter, AMC auditors now now champions of anti-graft campaign. President Buhari told them no fit to win the fight until all Nigerians now don't gather together, put their mind together to end all the bad next things where we say it happen. Him still talk say him they expect better collab between them and other anti-corruption agencies to provide quality audit reports to come out corruption for inside states plus including local government areas and still on top of the matter as it still be the president talk say the one where be say them just convict like four governors now say so really show say the auditors know to stand well or say them not allow them to do their work we welcome the opportunity to address you directly as you are the champions of the fight against corruption those that are following our efforts to sub out corruption. Very closely, we have noted the successes recorded by various agencies, especially the EFCC, the ICTC, the Code of Conduct Bureau, and others. There is so much more to do as the cancer of corruption has deeply infected our country and our governance practices. And the fight cannot be won until all tiers of government and indeed 
the reality of Nigerians are determined to join the fight against corruption. And still on top of the matter, the Auditor General of the Federation, that's now Anthony Ayine, even talk say the conference now really should say this current administration, they do their work well. Oga Ayine talk say the current laws where be say they guide auditing job for inside the country. Say we don't, they die somehow. That's why I need to come there now for them to rearrange the Audit Act to help them to do their work, make it for day Kajad. President, sir, your esteemed presence here today, in spite of your crowded schedule clearly indicates the importance to which you attach to audits and invariably transparency and accountability. It also sends a very strong message to us, the auditing community in Nigeria, of the tax ahead of us to deliver results that will be helpful to government at all levels in our country. Let me hasten to state that for us, there is a lot of work to be done, and this is why the theme of this year's conference is so up, building government, audit institution Nigeria need for the 21st century. The three-day conference will be said in the Office of the Attorney, the Office of Auditor General of the Federation be arranged. The title now Building Government Audit Institutions Nigeria Needs for the 21st Century. And we run enter inside another Tory, as it's still the hot. President Muhammad Dubari don't tell Senate to recognize the Management Committee of Niger Delta Development Commission with day for now. As matter CB, President Buari Yan this one now for inside the letter where BC the Senate President Ahmed Lawan be read for inside Senate on Tuesday. Inside the letter, the president now tell Lomika C may they recognize the committee until they finish touch lighting where BC then they do on top account. The president approves say make them rearrange the NDDC board, come inaugurate them after they finish auditing. The Senate may wish to note that after the dissolution of the board of the NDDC, an interim management team was set up to manage the affairs of the commission before a new board was composed and sent for Senate confirmation. The Senate is invited to note that while the process of composition and Senate confirmation of the appointment of the board was ongoing, I had directed that the forensic audit of the commission be carried out, which is being overseen by the constituted interim management team. Based on this, and in order to allow for uninterrupted process of the forensic investigation, the board appointment confirmed by the Senate has to be put on hold to allow the interim team continue to manage the commission pending the outcome of the forensic audit. Thereafter, a new board of the commission will be recomposed for confirmation by the Senate. The board where B say the Senate been screened on October 30th, 2019. The president never inaugurates them. And this now matter where B say plenty of people now we get mouth on top of the matter and their groups for the Niger Delta region, they look somehow. And we come up for this still on top Senate, but on top security matter. The Senate now don't swear say them go do everything where B say they possible to make sure say they introduce better community policing for the country. As the president of For Inside Senate, that's now Ahmed Lawan, he they yan the for inside in welcome address on Tuesday. He said the way we they arrange Nigeria security now, say he don't fail to protect the lives of country people. Him come they talk, say it is very important for the country now to find solutions to fix security problems for inside Nigeria. And still on top of that one as the Matabi, the Senate now talks, say them go call Inspector General of Police, that's now Mohammed Adamu, to tell the upper chamber the progress where we say it don't make so far. And for inside another Tory, some lawmakers now for House of Representatives don't accuse the Bonge government. Say them know they handle security matter for the country the way we say they're supposed to am. The lawmaker where we say they represent Mango Boko's federal constituency of Plateau State, that's now Solomon Marin. Now him they lead the lawmakers now where we say they yan this one. Him they call on President Muhammad Dubari to match all the plenty, plenty talk and promises on top of security with better action to save country people. 
As Ogama Ren, they accuse the federal government now. Say them just they overlook all the people where busy they do all this badness attack for inside the country. In con they talk, say just last Sunday, badness attack been happened for inside the communities where they in constituency. Where be say lead to the death of 16 people. Him say the attacks now been last for hours and no security people been show face for day. Him con talk say the thing they pay now where we say they never even arrest anybody or carry anybody go caught on top of those matter of badness attack. The lawmakers say they call on international community now to help them to come saving people before all of them go die finish through way. And for inside another story, Plateau State Governor, that na Simon Lalong, he don't give order now, say make them arrest full of new leaders and heads of their community, sick of the recent attacks where BC happened for inside their communities. Remember, say at least 15 people now, nine die after a BC man we carry gun, be enter Quarters Village now for inside Boko's local government area of the state for inside weekend. The attack been happened two weeks after them killed 12 people for another attack with the inside Kumben Village for Mangu local government area. Inside the emergency meeting now of community leaders and stakeholders on Tuesday, Ogal Lalong can't give this order. Him say this one now no be business as usual, and him say the state government no go fold their hands sit down they look, make their people die finish the go. Him come talk to them, they touch light the attack where BC happened for inside Mangu local government area of the state. And for inside another Tory, APC don't endorse their member where they represent a to Wada Dogoa federal constituency of a Kanu state that's now Adodo Dogoa. To still therefore in seat as a House of Representative Majority Leader, National Chairman of APC, that's now Adams Oshomole, he endorsed him now when he been visit when he been visit in presenting certificate of return to the party. Ogadogua went to visit uh, Adam Sushomele together with the Kanu State Governor Abdullah Higanduje and other members of National Assembly for Kanu State. Him be Yansi make the, make the party leadership support him return to the House as a majority leader. The leadership of the House, especially the office of the majority leader, which of course is the engine room of the Nigeria's House of Representatives, is the property of the party, which is the APC. I am not in the, in, in the position to answer them that question. And of course, up till now, I cannot answer that question to them. <laughs> that this position is the party's position. The position, secondly, belongs to the 358, 59 other members of the House of Representatives, whom, if they so wish, they can take any decision about it in conjunction or in consultation with the party. I still want to present to you, to my, present to you myself, my humble self, that I am only but a loyal member. If you as the party chairman, and the speaker, along with the 359 other members of the House of Representatives, decides by tomorrow, after my oath, to be on the floor as a floor member, I will take that graciously. If the party and the leadership of the House decide that I should be a deputy chairman of any standing committee of the House, I will accept that in good faith. Mr. Speaker, uh, Mr. Chairman, if the party under your leadership, which I hope, decides alongside with the leadership of the House of Representatives, Allow me to continue from where I stopped in my capacity as the leader of the <laughs> I still on top of the matter of Gao Shomele talks from the things where we seeing colleagues for inside the house in Yan about, say it, be, it really shows them the way to re-elect them. Leadership in the house before the court uh, nullified your election. You contributed your quota to elevate the quality of conversation and of debate in that house. And I'm sure your colleagues can't wait to have you back uh, in the house, and I believe back to the position you had occupied before. And for inside another Tory, Obonge government now talks say at least 41 people don't die of Lassa fever for some parts of the country inside the beginning of 2020. Minister of Health Tatna Osage Ohanire Naim talked this one on Tuesday, asking the young with story people for Secretariat of the Ministry inside Abuja. As the matter still be, asking the young on top Lassa fever matter, him say at least two, bo two body matter people follow for the 41 people where be say them die. 
Ehani renal toxic them do then don't confirm 258 cases for 19 states inside the country. If can they tell country people now see make them they keep their environment very clean and make them protect their food from rats. The minister still talk about the coronavirus where be say day for inside China, Germany, the United States, plus including two African countries. Him say the Federal Ministry of Health now don't advise people on top the outbreak of the disease. Him say danger day now to import things, but as it still be, nobody don't get the virus for inside Nigeria. My country people make una no go anywhere. Me could bring you business and sports story. <music> For inside sports, the chairman of Abuja Municipal Area Council, that's now Honorable Abdullahi Candido, he don't come out now when they talk. So the one where he be saying now that they talk, say the area council been received total of 19 billion naira for revenue, both from federal accounts and plus including the one where he be say then generate between 2016 to 2019. He say no be true at all at all. The Yamak chairman Yan this one now, him the Yan give to we people. Him talk say the protest against him administration on top say them know they use resources well and the abuse of, of office. Say now the handwork of people where be say they want just scatter the peace where people they enjoy. Our Wazobia Max TV to person Johnny Manuel. Now you get more to read on top this one. Mark Chamo, we taking time explain to news story people the work where him they use the money where Amak make since when him become the Chamo they do. Come follow the para say make people make sure see them get enough information before they begin to they run their mouth against government. When we want to make a case, you must be well armed with fat. Because if you are not informed, you will get deformed. Possibly because they have already presented a case in writing to the legislative arm. I would not like to preempt whatever be the outcome of what the legislative arm are going to do. Candido can put hand for mouth, they swear, say, ah, as for me, now only 9 billion naira am I done make for the past three years where him become the chamo of the area council. But I wish that by your investigative part of journalism, we may be able to unfold the real amount. But conservatively, I want to believe that Together these three years, this area council may have generated at least nine billion naira put together, and then about six point one has gone as salary. So take six point one billion from the only nine billion for three years, conservatively. But our findings may reveal better. But I'm saying the facts or the figures so produced by the protesters cannot stand because it was a lazy description of what you are doing here. He no stop deal. Now, so in come the challenge, people will accuse him, say he in thief amount money, say make them bring evidence if they know say they get anyone. This press briefing now to answer one group of people who call themselves the Civil Society for Human Rights and Rehabilitation over the Winogo Griwaka where they carry Go Amak last week. But I want them to please go to the procurement office to find out if I, as a person, or through a proxy or my children at home has ever embarked in anything called contract as far as the Syria country is concerned. 
According by this group, they told us that the Legislative Council of AMAC supposed impeach Kanido sake of say people waiting for AMAC never feel the impact of the 13 billion naira we him don't collect from federal government, plus including another 6 billion naira we him generate as internally generated revenue. The AMAC chamo on his part say he don't open all AMAC account book so that the public fit can confirm waiting AMAC don't generate for the past three years and how him carry spend them. They raise the issue of disregard of Public Procurement and Appropriation Act. When they said contracts are not being advertised, contracts are being given to family members. That is one. And in response to that, as simple as possible, is that the area council is open to all citizens of this council, the procurement office. From the day I set my foot here, till even the current tender that we're about to carry out as far as 2020 budget is concerned, the procurement office is, a, is, is right at the doorstep of all residents of this area council. This na John Emmanuel for Wazobia Max TV. That's na business story. Make we check within the for sports. And for inside sports, the Nigerian Football Federation plus including the people where we say they make clothes for sports. With them they call Nike. On February 5th now they go open new Super Eagles jersey for New York. Ahead of their 2021 Africa Cup of Nations, uh, Nations home qualifying match against Sierra Leone. Nike, Nike now been extend their deal for 2018 with NFF. And them still they happy now to design another set of jersey for three, the three-time African champions. As the matter has to be, NFF president, that's now Amadou Penik, it also say them go open the new jersey now for London and Nigeria. After a bit say they don't open now for inside New York. MC Talk say as the matter has to be, say Nike now really want to make Super Eagles now qualify for the 2022 World Cup for Qatar. Now all the story then be this where we carry come give you as it take happen. My name is Adati Omkwe, but for now, make we still check all our top to read them again. And a federal executive council meeting now they hold for the first time inside 2020 today. President Boabi Don Rice gives Senate to recognize the management committee of NDDC where them just put. And Senate don't swear see them go make sure see they introduce better community policing. Plateau State Governor don't give orders to make them arrest full any leaders. Take of the killings where BC it just happened. Make you enjoy the rest of your afternoon. To enjoy more of this our we'll Ugonga videos when you just watch. Press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.